People from all over are raising money for all wall family and his wife, his two children. There's another local organization taking action to help. KMBC 9's Peyton Headley is live at the Fairway Police Department with more on this. Hi, Peyton. Hey, Bria, yeah, well, SAFE is the Surviving Spouse and Family Endowment Fund. It's a program of the Kansas City Crime Commission. It covers first responders in 12 different counties spanning both sides of the state line. And in a tragic event like this one, their goal is to provide just the slightest bit of relief. They're always prepared, but they're never really ready. When it happens, it's so heartbreaking that, you know, it, it's, it's hard sometimes to you know, fathom how you could prepare yourself for something like that. In the case of a death in the line of duty, SAFE is standing by to help. The mission of SAFE is to be here as quickly as possible because we want to make sure that the family is not worried about how they're going to pay their bills, you know, how they're going to buy groceries, that sort of thing. The organization writes a check for $25,000 and gives it to the family of the first responder. It does feel like it's happening all the time and, and uh, it never gets any easier for sure. Director Jan Zimmerman says it feels like SAFE is being used more and more often. Around this time last year, the North Kansas City Police Department laid to rest Officer Daniel Vasquez. In February, KCPD said a final goodbye to Officer James Mulbauer and his canine partner, Champ. And now, this August, Fairway, Kansas, is grieving the loss of Officer Jonah Oswald. The police and firefighters and EMTs are always going to be there when they call. And, and don't think about the sacrifice that that first responder and his family have paid behind the scenes in order for them to feel safe. And since the nonprofit's creation in 2003, they have helped more than 40 families. Live in Fairway, Peyton Headley, KNBC 9 News.